Ever wondered how to make the perfect pizza at home? Today we're embarking on a quest to create the ultimate homemade pie. We'll need some basic ingredients. For the dough, you'll need flour, yeast, sugar, warm water, oil, and salt. Then comes the pizza sauce for that classic tang. Topping-wise, we're talking green bell pepper, your cheese of choice, black and green olives, small tomato cubes, and salami. Ready to embark on this culinary journey? Let's dive into the process. The foundation of a great pizza lies in its dough. Here's how to perfect it. Embarking on the journey of dough preparation, we first mix sugar and yeast in warm water. This simple concoction of sweet and yeast sets the stage for fermentation, the magical process that will give our dough its rise. Once the sugar and yeast are well dissolved, it's time to bring in the rest of the team. We'll introduce salt, the flavor enhancer, and oil, our secret ingredient for that golden crust. A quick stir blends these ingredients together, creating a harmonious mix that's ready for the star of the show, the flour. Now, we knead. This isn't just any kneading. It's a labor of love, a dance of hands and dough. As we incorporate the flour, we're looking for a firm dough to form. Not too sticky, not too dry, just the right balance. With our dough kneaded to perfection, we cover it and let it rest. This is the time when our dough transforms, rising to the occasion, literally. Half an hour to an hour should do the trick, depending on the warmth of your kitchen. As the dough takes its sweet time to rise, we can't just sit back and relax. There's more to pizza than just the base. With the dough set aside and rising, it's time to prepare the toppings. While our dough is rising, let's turn our attention to the toppings. The beauty of pizza is its versatility, allowing us to be as creative or traditional as we wish with our choices. Today, we're going with a classic medley that's sure to please everyone at the table. First, let's start with the green bell peppers. We're looking for a medium dice here, not too small, not too large. Just right to provide a fresh, crisp bite against the softness of the dough and cheese. Next, we have our olives, both black and green. Slice these into thin rounds to evenly distribute their briny, salty flavor throughout the pizza. Now, onto the tomatoes. We want these cubed small, as they'll be releasing their sweet juices into the pizza, adding a hint of acidity that balances the richness of our other ingredients. And finally, the salami. Slice this as thin as you can, allowing it to crisp up in the oven and infuse our pizza with its smoky, savory goodness. Set everything aside and take a moment to admire the vibrant colors and textures of these toppings. Each one, in its own way, contributes to the symphony of flavors that is a truly great pizza. With our toppings ready and our dough risen, it's time to assemble our pizza. Now comes the fun part, assembling our pizza. It's like building your own edible masterpiece, a culinary canvas of flavors waiting to be brought to life. First, we need to roll out our dough. You're aiming for a thickness that's not too thin, not too thick something that Goldilocks would call just right. Use a rolling pin, your hands, or even a wine bottle if you're feeling innovative. The goal is to stretch it out evenly, to create the perfect base for our toppings. Once your dough is rolled out, it's time to get circular. Grab a pizza cutter or a sharp knife if you don't have one, and cut out circles from your dough. This is the stage where your pizza starts to look like, well, a pizza. Next, we spread our tomato sauce. A generous helping of this tangy goodness goes a long way in defining the flavor profile of our pizza. But remember, moderation is key. Too much sauce and your pizza can turn soggy. Now it's time for cheese. The melty, gooey, cheesy goodness that makes a pizza, a pizza. Sprinkle it evenly over the tomato sauce. Follow this up with the green bell pepper for that crunchy bite and a pop of color. Then come the olives, black and green, adding a hint of Mediterranean magic to our creation. And finally, the salami. Because let's face it, who doesn't love a bit of cured meat on their pizza? And there you have it. Your homemade pizza is ready to be enjoyed.